I've got to fit all of this and some more into here. Can it be done? Come back with me, let's find out. Hello, it's me Ashley and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. Today guys, we're gonna be packing for Disney. So yes, today I'm gonna be showing you what I am packing for my trip to Florida. Um, I've still got a couple of days. I've got everything I kind of want to take behind me. There are a couple of things that I do want to add, but I'm gonna try and get the majority of it in the case with you guys today. So let's start off with the case itself, I guess. I am taking my trusty suitcase. This has been on my last few holidays. Oh my God, it's quite heavy. <laughs> um, so this is a hard case by Trip. I have a little ugh, supernatural sticker on the top, which keeps me right as to which is my case. So hard case, why do I go for a hard case over a soft case because they weigh less don't they um but i have learned that the hard way before i had a trip to gran canaria once and when we got to gran canaria, canaria it was glorious but when we were in the manchester airport i think it was manchester um it rained and it rained heavy so when they were getting my bag to the plane i'm guessing it got very very wet because once we got to gran canaria and i was unpacking my case everything was very very wet and had to be hung out to dry <laughs> learn it the hard way it ain't worth it that little bit of extra weight that you save it's not worth it it's not worth it for my eyes it costs yeah everything has to be dried again crazy <sighs> so hard case hard case is the way to go okay so as you may have heard on my other videos we are traveling business class which is a little bit bonkers it's i think they actually call it club world instead of business class uh, British Airways. But our baggage allowance is actually quite impressive. So I'm not panicking too much. We're allowed to take on one carry-on case. So I actually that's in the other room. It's like a little purple case. You may have seen it before. I did do a travel video before about some tips I had, I think. Link that if I can find it. Um, anyway, I'm taking that. And you're also allowed a handbag or a laptop case. So I think I'm gonna actually take one of my backpacks that I've got in the background as hand luggage as well. And we're actually allowed to take two check-in bags that weigh up to 32 kilograms. So I'm set. Well, what we're actually gonna do is just take one bag each and then Chris has actually packed like a big duffel bag um, in his case. So he can take that as his second um, item of luggage on the way back. What we're probably gonna do is fill that with like laundry and things that need to be cleaned. And then other things that we buy will stick in our cases. And then there's the option of popping to Target or something to get another bag to pack some other stuff in if we've really got that much stuff. <laughs> so yes, I'm not stressing too much. So I have packed a lot of stuff. This is my first trip to Disney and it is a bit of a weird time of year because it's December, it's still warm during the day, chillier in the night. So it's difficult to know what to pack. Like I say, with it being my first trip, I have watched a lot of vlogs and different bits and bobs in preparation. Um, I'm not an expert by the way. So if you see things on here that I'm like, why are you packing that? Or, oh, maybe you should have packed this instead of that. Um, it will be too late by the time this video has gone up for you to tell me, but tell me for next time. <laughs> right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you everything I've got behind me that I'm gonna be packing. I do plan on possibly adding one or two bits. I've also had the idea of possibly, possibly using some vacuum bags to kind of squeeze things down a little bit. I've got quite a few hoodies that are taking up quite a lot of room that I wanna take for a night time. And I feel like I do want a couple to go with different outfits and in case I spill on anything, because we're gonna be eating a lot of food. <laughs> so there's a possibility of adding some vacuum bags to squash everything down. And then there's a little bit more space, because like I say, we've got a lot of weight allowance. Um, so we should be okay. But it's more just a case of packing a couple of extra bits. And once we're in the case, it doesn't even matter if the bag kind of bursts or anything really, because it ain't going anywhere in this case. Right, so let me show you what I'm taking. Okay, so as you can see, I've got a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. I'll go through the little bits and bobs piece by piece to show you what I'm taking. Like I said, not an expert. Um, I haven't actually finished putting a lot of this stuff together yet. Um, these are kind of socks I'm taking for the park. I've got a lot of little trainer socks. I've got my new um, little groggy ones that came from my recent Primark haul. Check that out if you haven't already. I've got some slipper socks that have got Ariel on there. I've got a cute little pair of Ariel socks I think I was given as a gift that I haven't worn because they're just too cute. And I'm like, why am I saving them? 
Well, they're just sat in my drawer. So the perfect opportunity for a perf for the first wear, I'm taking to Disney. Like I said, just a selection of different coloured kind of trainer socks because I'm probably going to be wearing a lot of shorts and things. I started to pull some pants together, but I haven't actually finished some of them in the wash. These are my new Primark pants. Um, if you saw my recent haul, they are the comfiest thing ever in the world. I need to go back and get more. Need to. Must. Okay, we'll work our way over here. It's shoes I'm taking. I'm not taking many shoes. Ah, I forgot to grab my flip-flops. I want to take one pair of flip-flops. Just one. Um, I'm taking my lilac-y coloured Vans. These have still got the tag on, but I've worn them around the house and worn them around the house and worn them around the house. This, I don't know why I haven't taken off, I'll be honest, because I'm all Wally. Um, but these are super duper comfy. I think they're more actually comfy than the black ones, and I wear my black ones all the time. My black ones I'm also taking. They aren't here because they will be what I'm wearing on the airplane. And then here are my stitch trainers that I got from Primark. I'm taking them also. Again, I've worn these around the house, but they do still have the tag on. These, by the way, might be my comfiest pair of shoes that I own. They are so comfortable. So, yeah, worn those in around the house because you do need to wear, obviously, really well worn in stuff. Okay, so just above my trainers, you'll see I've packed some packs of disposable masks. I found my Revolution leopard print one that I thought would be really good to wear to Animal Kingdom. Um, I'll have a little look through my face mask and I'll probably take some more reusable ones just in case. But I've got plenty of these and I've also put a pack aside to go in my hand luggage. Next, as we make our way over the bed, I've packed some swimsuits. Um, so this one I haven't actually worn before. Um, it's a lovely animal print one very pretty. I got that in a Boohoo haul last year, haven't worn it yet. And then I've got this one that also came from Boohoo, a nice black and white strappy one with some high rise pants. This is one of my favourite ones, I like this, I've worn this a lot. Um, so I just, there's just a couple, we're not planning on doing any water parks, but what we probably will do is um, go in maybe like the hot tub and the pool that are by the accommodation. So we might do, we might not, but if we do, I'm prepared. And so, and in the most bizarre turn of offence, as well as packing tiny bikinis, I've got gloves and hat. <laughs> got my cute little Mickey Minnie hat from Primark and my set of two black gloves from Primark. Okay, next. These are like the bottom half I'm taking. Um, I've got a pair of leggings that I got from Primark. These ones that were £2.50 and they fit like a dream and they're not see-through, they're amazing. Um, then I've got a pair of shorts from Boohoo. These were really nice. I wasn't actually expecting them. They're kind of a mom-shaped fit, so they are kind of a bit bigger, but I really like it. They actually fit me and they're really comfy, so these I will probably live in. i got a feeling. And then I've got a pair of shorts I had my eye on from ASOS for a long time. I really wanted a size 12, couldn't get the size 12, so I got a size 10, and they actually fit better than I thought they would. So these are from Pull and Bear. That's this nice paler colour and they've got a stretchy waistband at the back. So they have got a little like wiggle room. So I thought that was nice. I like the way they turn up. Um, and actually the size 10 doesn't fit too bad. But I think if you're going to be eating a lot, these might feel a little bit more snug than the Boohoo ones. And then the last pair of shirts I've got are these like legging shorts. I think they were called. These are from ASOS. I think they're from Collusion, possibly. Um, just like a little kind of cycling short-esque pair of things <laughs> and then I suppose also which I don't know why they're in a different pile I've got a pair of jeans also from Boohoo they've got like rip detailing on the knee these I actually really liked I already have a pair but I bought a second pair in the same size because they were on offer so I got a new pair to take to Disney Okay, next, let's talk hoodies and sweatshirts. I have packed a lot. I didn't even realise I had seven lots, to be fair. <laughs> these are like over-the-head hoodie, sorry, over-the-head sweatshirts, and these are like hoodie hoodies. So I've got two black, a grey, a pale pinky peach colour. I've got my fluorescent Mickey t-shirt. Um, instead of showing you this laid out now, I'll probably insert a clip when I tried it on in my primer call. So this beautiful Mickey's like long sweatshirt dress, that'll be really nice for an evening, or possibly even like the plain home. And then I've got my two newer sweatshirts, which came from Primark. Um, the black Walt Disney one, which is just really, really nice. Can't believe this was £8. Such a nice sweatshirt. 
and then I've got the hooded sweatshirt with the Disney blazoned across it um, again from Primark oops ran out of memory <laughs> right anyway really nice green hooded sweatshirt perfect can't believe this was only 10 pounds so there's some really nice sweatshirts they'll do for like on a night traveling or whatevs really and then like I say I've got my hoodies <sighs> again they're just really standard hoodies you know what they are Okay, exciting one next. These are the mini ears that I am taking with me. These two were super duper cheap from Primark, three pounds. Um, so pretty, so we've got this gold pair. These will probably wear, be what I wear to Animal Kingdom on our very first day. I've got this beautiful, beautiful pair. These, um, I've got various outfits that these will go with. I might even wear these onto the airplane. And then this beautiful pair, which are actually the first pair I picked up from eBay. They actually come from Tokyo Disney if you can see and they're just super pretty these will be i definitely will be wearing these on my magic kingdom day um so they're really nice i am hoping to pick up an aerial pair while i'm out there so that would be nice um which brings us nicely onto t-shirts boom i have just thought of adding this one um if you've seen our disney plans video then you'll know while we are there we're going to a candlelight procession event with Ariel herself. Oh my god. Yes. Okay, I've just popped you on my tripod so I can hold out the t-shirts to show you. So this one I figured would be perfect for when we go to see Jodie Benson. So it says that feeling when it's Friday. It's gonna be Friday. I only just added this. I just had the realization that this would be a really perfect t-shirt. So cool that, that we're gonna be seeing her on a Friday. Okay, so I'll just put this one to the side. Next one, and this might actually be one I wear on the plane because it kind of matches my plane outfit. Chris actually has the matching Mickey Mouse version. Um, it's this Minnie Mouse t-shirt, um, just a little mini shape with a mini bow, super duper cute. This one I picked up from Asda. Um, it was nine pounds, but I think there was a deal on, so I got a little bit of money off. Um, and it's just got the Disney crew on there, all the Disney characters, super duper cute. Next is one I picked up from Primark. They still had that the last time I went in. So again, it's just all the different Disney characters on there. It's kind of cute, it's gonna be easy to wear. Um, this one I picked up on my last Primark haul. It comes from Primark and it's a Christmas t-shirt. I thought this might be nice for like Universal or something. Just just generic Christmas tea. Okay, this next one's special. Not even sure if I wanna show you it. This is my t-shirt I'm gonna be wearing to the Magic Kingdom. I got this outfit in mind and it's gonna be perfect. So, I ordered this from Etsy from the Magical Castle Club. I'm gonna to have to check that. Are you ready? It says, best day ever. And it's it's obviously, if you know, you know, it is a quote from Tangled, my favourite Disney movie. It's got the little Tangled lanterns on there and I just thought it's going to be the best day ever at Magic Kingdom. It's the perfect t-shirt. I was just so happy when I saw this. It's perfect. Ah! <laughs> Okay, next, and this is actually originally for doing the candlelight procession at Epcot, but seeing as we're saying Geordie Benson, I want it to be a Little Mermaid t-shirt, so it's probably gonna be that Friday one, but it might be the next one, but anyway, I'll show you this one first. Um, this is from Boohoo, it's just one of the new ones they've brought out this year. It's got Mickey and Minnie on there in their like, Christmas outfits, and it's glitters, I don't know if you could tell. Um, super duper sparkly, super duper cute. Okay, next, this one my sister got me, um, was it for Christmas? Um, I put it aside when I found out in March that we were going to Disney, and this was the one I was originally thinking of to wear, to go see Jodie Benson do the candlelight procession. I was thinking during the day, um, I'll probably, because it's quite a long, big t-shirt, I thought I'd pa pair it with those legging shorts, and it would look really nice, and then maybe just either put something else on on the afternoon, or it might be warm, who knows? But yeah, yay! Next, I got these from Primark um, in the summer. I've got a really nice baby pink mini t-shirt with the cute little mini design, super cute. I don't know when I'm gonna be wearing this one. I haven't really planned a day for it, but it'll definitely come in useful. And then next, I've got a Mickey and Minnie kind of retro style t-shirt, again from Primark this summer. This one I think I plan on wearing to Hollywood Studios. They've got the Mickey and Minnie uh, railroad thing there that looks very much kind of this kind of design of Mickey and Minnie. So I thought that would be nice. 
Next, not t-shirts, but a couple of other little tops. I picked up this Christmas little vest from Asda and I thought it would be kind of nice if, you know, the weather allows at Disney. It's a little strappy top. It's kind of got a, like a ruffly bottom, really cute. And if you can see, it's got a really nice kind of Christmas print. And obviously it's probably too cold to wear over here for Christmas unless you're gonna put something underneath it or over it. Um, but I thought it was perfect for Florida at Christmas. This next one is a kind of a generic kind of just vest, but it's really nice. I got it from Asda recently. It's got these super cute little ties at the top and it's got like a little ruffled bottom. Fits lovely. It should have been 10 pounds, but they had it in the sale. One pound. This cute little summer top for a pound. There's nothing wrong with it at all. It's really nice for a pound. Perfect. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you the dresses that I've pulled out to take with me. Okay, firstly, and this is probably what I'm going to wear to Animal Kingdom. I've got another option, but I think it might be this one. Um, I got this last at the end of last summer in the sale on Boohoo and I loved it. Um, so it's just a really nice Dalmatian, obviously animal print dress. It's got some nice little pockets at the side. Um, it's just a really nice floaty floaty dress and I thought I could put the little cycling shorts underneath it um, so I'm not flashing anybody. <laughs> um, but no, I just thought it would be perfect. I actually had a dream that I was wearing a dress very similar to this going on my first day at Disney and I had a 101 Dalmatians lounge fly bag <laughs> that I wore also. I don't have that but I've got this. Okay, the other option that I was thinking of for Animal Kingdom then was this dress. Um, this dress is like a little strappy animal print dress, like a leopard print dress. Um, it's strappy. I got this quite cheap last year, so I don't know if it looks cheap. I've only worn it like once, I think. Um, so that was kind of just, I thought, obviously with it being the animal print, it would fit well with the Animal Kingdom vibes. Um, it's strappy, so if it's a warm day, that would be nice. But I actually also did pull out a little black t-shirt that I could put underneath it if I wanted to. Um, so yeah, it's one of those. Um, we might have an option to revisit. So I've got two options. And to be fair, it's like these that I could wear around Florida on days where we aren't doing Disney, Disney stuff. So, you know. Next I just pull this one out because it's just it's really pretty and it goes really nice with all my like mini mouse stuff. <laughs> um, it's just a little red and white dotty dress. It's just a little one, just a little cute one. Um, it might even be just something like it was just if I was going to a Disney park again that I wanted to look a little bit more mini mouse esque to that's not going to take up much room in my case um and it might be something i wear on a night out to like dinner or something i probably won't be wearing these but still this one i pulled out thinking um it might be nice to have like a nod to harry potter if we go to a harry potter day i don't know how warm it's going to be and this has longer sleeves and it's a slightly thicker material but i just thought the celestial print on this one was like really nice for kind of hogwarts ish stuff um so possibly it's a possibility for a universal day um but like i say it's a thicker material and it's got a longer sleeve not that long really it's only here uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah it's a possibility a possibility of course i haven't decided what i'm wearing to the universal parks i have decided i think on my disney outfits um just not my universal ones i've not been able to get like a universal themed t-shirt <laughs> um i've had a little google about and some i've liked but some that wouldn't necessarily come in time i was hoping primark would have had something and they've had so much harry potter stuff in the past but they didn't really have anything other than like christmas gifty stuff um but never mind anyway last dress that i plan on packing might chuck an extra one or two in if i think i might need it i was starting to stress that it was going to be really cold colder than i was expecting because i was planning for the summer so then I think I overcompensated, packed too many hoodies and things and not enough perhaps stuff for if it is really warm. Um, right, so this next dress, this is a, I planned this one for the day that we're, it's a Saturday that we're there where we're just shopping and like exploring different places. Um, it's a beautiful pink and purple checked kind of midi, midaxi dress. It's not quite um, a maxi dress. It's very pretty. I got it in the summer when the weather was really nice. And then we kind of had to do the whole thing when we moved out. And 
the weather then turned and various bits and I didn't get a chance to actually wear it so I'm gonna make sure I get to wear it in Florida because I think well, I'll just reach over it'll pair lovely with these and also with this hoodie so it's gonna be a nice little look and it'll go with one of my lounge flies too okay I suppose I'll just sit here and reach over to show you the rest of it <laughs> can you still see me you can can't you okay so the next I've got three bags full of toiletries here <laughs> I haven't got any makeup together to pack yet and I'm just looking at all this that I've got and thinking this is crazy actually crazy so I got this Aurora bag I was actually originally going to fill this with like shower and stuff but the stuff that I wanted to pack didn't fit in here but I've just put her here for now she might come with me she might not I've just been chucking some odd bits in here which might end up going in a different bag um in here I've got some little mini hairspray I've actually got two of those because one of them's been used and one of them's a full one and then I've got two little bottles of dry shampoo just because I thought that might come in handy if it is really warm like just spraying a bit on on the like later on to kind of just rejuvenate myself um I also was wondering they're 50 mil so this could probably go through um like as my travel luggage couldn't it just for freshening myself up after a very long plane ride um Oh, I've also shoved in here a couple of hand sanitizers, nothing exciting. A little travel mirror I'll do something with. These are just like bits and bobs that didn't fit in with everything else. Um, okay, so in here, this beautiful holographic bag. I don't know if you can tell it's holographic. This was from Primark a few years ago now. Um, in here, I've kind of got all my bathroom showery kind of stuff. Um, well, apart from them, the cosmetic pads from Primark, I'm going to take some of them. And a Jordan from Aldi. Um, got a little cute scrubber. This actually came with the Sleeping Beauty bag <laughs> uh, when I got that. And then I've got a couple of body washes. Don't know how many showers I'm planning on taking, but I kind of collect little minis um, until I'm going to travel again. So I've got three little mini ones. I've got a sun-drenched body wash that I got in one of my boxes. Um, it's supposed to be like really give you a bit of a glow or something for like sun-kissed skin. So I just thought I'll keep that aside for a nice holiday. Um, a clean on me something glory one of my faves ever and then again it was the one that came with the sleeping beauty bag it's a sleeping beauty body wash in lavender um so that and then also in there i've got a shaver um uh, one of asta's own i find they're really nice um i've got some john frieda shampoo and conditioner i'm going to take this will bring my hair out like light and bright make it look a bit sun-kissed and then i have got my trusty coconut toothpaste from superdrug um so i can eat and drink after brushing my teeth um i haven't packed my toothbrush yet that's something i must do i am due to get a new toothbrush so i thought i'd just take a new one so i really must pack that and then in here um, in this side pocket, I won't show because it's boring. I've packed my contact lenses. Packed enough for 20 days, I think, just in case, because you don't know. Um, and then inside, again, it's been a lot of, like, minis I've been collecting that I've kind of packed. So it's just a lot of little mini bits and bobs. I won't show you because we'll be here all day. Various little cleansers, bits and bobs. You know, just, like, little travel-sized kind of items. Um, and I've got quite a few of those. So, like, a little little mini elements um, moisturizer a lot of these come from my like glossy box and look fantastic or the feel unique pick and mixes so I just put them aside for when I'm going to be doing um like going on holiday because it just means then I've got some super cute little things that'll fit easily in my luggage and then I don't have to transport big bottles you know um oh I've also got my uh flounder and Sebastian little mitts from Primark um I'll probably maybe grab another face cloth or two to take with me um because I do tend to like to just use one per day use it on the morning then on the night to take my makeup off and then I like to use a fresh one the next day that was actually a tip from Caroline Hirons so there you go okay next couple of little boring bits really <laughs> we just picked these up today actually from Aldi um it's just a moisturizing sun lotion factor 30 I don't know how bad this one's going to be at this time of year I don't know and then a little tiny mini one so I thought this will go in our bag and then if we really need to top it up we've got the bigger one these were on sale I think this was 35p and this was 75p so if you're after some sun cream guys Aldi god Aldi they're selling it off 
Okay, next, and I haven't actually fully finished packing this one yet. This is like just, a, this is actually a Look Fantastic bag I got when they did the Look Fantastic bag instead of a box. And in here, I've packed loads of like little random meds and stuff just in case we need it. So I've got plasters, paracetamols, I've got some constipation tablets and some diarrhea tablets, you know, because you just don't know. I've got some kind of cold and flu bits and bobs. Um, I've got like a heat pack, I think, that got sticks on somewhere if you hurt yourself. Um, and some antacid tablets. <laughs> so I'm gonna be prepared. I need to just go through and check that I have got everything I need in here. It's just a little emergency bag with you being so far away from home, um, just to make sure you've got stuff if you do start to feel a little bit pooly. Um, so I like to kind of top this up whenever I go on holiday. I've been through and made sure everything's in date. So we've got quite a bit of stuff. I think we've got, I think possibly the only thing I'm missing is antihistamines, which I need to grab. Next, let's talk bags. I am so excited to finally use my lounge flies. I haven't used them yet. I've been saving them. I bought them with my birthday money. Um, isn't she beautiful? So this one hasn't got anything in it at the minute. It's just full of the packing. So what I'm planning on doing is probably putting like my socks and knickers possibly in them to keep them the nice shape in the bag. And then it, obviously it's, they're not taking up a lot of room. Um, this will go in my hand luggage, but I just wanted to show that obviously I have got the matching purse to the beautiful tangled lounge fly. I am so excited, I can't even tell you to wear these. I'm hoping that one of the outlets or something will have some more so I can stock up on some more lounge flies because honestly, they are some of the most beautiful things I've ever owned. Um, when I get around to doing my beauty room, eventually I plan on putting these on possibly like little shelves as display items. So cute. Okay, and then I've also got my Cinderella lounge fly oh, they are just so beautiful look at the little tip measure straps <laughs> so excited this is the one i'll wear with this dress i think when i do it this one i've already taken the tissue paper out of and i have started to put in a couple of bits and bobs um in here i've packed a whole bunch of scrunchies at the minute oh, that's something i need to find i can't find my travel hairbrush anywhere uh, oh and i've also got some sunglasses at the bottom um if you've watched my Primark calls, you'll know most of my sunglasses. <laughs> They're mostly ones just from Primark that cost a pound. These ones are a little bit more special. These ones were from Boohoo. They're nice, aren't they? So pretty. They need a clean, actually. I think they got dusty. Everything in my house got dusty when we had all the renovations. I don't know. Like, places where you wouldn't even have expected dust to get, it got. <laughs> So yes, in here at the minute is just sunglasses and um, scrunchies, but I will probably put some more stuff in there because that only fills up to about there really. So these are actually quite good to like shove other bits in really. So I'm definitely going to be able to fit some other stuff in. And my other bag that I have, this um, one came from Primark. It's not lounge fly. It's actually a little smaller than my lounge fly, which I'm slightly disappointed at because I'm probably going to use this a lot while I'm over there because it's black. It goes with everything. Um, this one I'm thinking I will probably take as like part of my hand luggage just to pop a couple of bits in that I need ready to hand. Uh, so probably like my purse, um, bits and bobs really, you know, you just, you know. Um, I also picked up the little makeup bag to go with that. So I'm going to pop some makeupy bits in there as well, which will go in there. And in my other bags to take stuff around the park. So I'll put makeup in there. I'll maybe put things like paracetamol or stuff like that. I don't know. Ooh, I've got a couple of packs of earrings and I think the other ones are actually in here mixed in with all the other bits and bobs. These are the Disney ones I picked up recently, but I really must check what jewellery I've got to take. Um, I don't think I'm going to take a lot. I think it's going to mostly just be earrings because I don't really want to have necklaces on swinging round <laughs> so much. I don't know. <laughs> um, I was planning on taking these um, mini mouse hoops that I'm wearing, but... I mean, do we really need Minnie Mouse hoops? They're gold to start with, and obviously everything else is silver. I'm rocking it to do with my silver rings and stuff, but you know. Here, I've also got a pack of lip balm. I bought these from uh, Amazon. <laughs> Couldn't think of the word. Um, these, you get a pack of three. They're factor 30 SPFs, because um, you don't have to wear a mask outdoors at Disney, only indoors, and apparently they are very strict on that, very strict. Like if they see people with them around the noses, under the noses, sorry, they will tell them, get it pulled up or get out. Um, I've heard recently somebody said that if you get, if somebody else on a ride, maybe behind you in the ride photo has their mask down, they won't let you have the photo, which is disappointing. So hopefully people have got their act together. Um, but anyway, yeah, sorry, this was just 
<laughs> I got some lip balm that's got SPF in it, so it would be important. Um, in here, I think they were maybe like two pound, two fifty, three pounds um, for a pack of three. You get a watermelon one, a mint one, and a vanilla one. Um, so they're on Amazon, and they're by Malibu. So I just thought that was useful. I'll have one in my bag. Chris can have one in his, and then we get a spare one if we lose one. Cost, let's face it, the type of thing that gets lost. I think the last thing I've got to show you is pajamas. So I've got, I'm taking three pairs. I'm expecting it to be cold on a night, but I, we'll see, we'll see. I'll learn my lesson if it's wrong. Um, so I've got just a short sleeved Tinkerbell t-shirt, which comes with some pajama bottoms that are a bit more like leggings just some star design. Then I've got my new super duper cute um, Tinkerbell pyjamas that came from Primark. I thought they would be super cozy because it might not just be um, sleeping in things. It's probably going to be like lounging around on a night when we get back from the um, parks and things to just chill in. So I got those ones and I've also got these ones that I already have um, long sleeved um, comfy cozy. They're very much the same material as the Tinkerbell ones. Um, so they're really, really nice. And I've also packed a little um, strappy vest that I can put underneath the tops there so I can maybe take it off the bigger tops to go to bed in. Um, hopefully that will be okay for this time of year. And I mean, worst case, I'm gonna be too hot. I can just strip the bottoms and stuff off. <laughs> Okay, so that is everything. Now I need to get it all in my case. This proves the uh, tricky of it, I think. Okay, so I'm just kind of trying to fast forward through me kind of folding and shoving stuff in my case, which is down there. Once I've cleared a little bit of room, I might try and lift it onto the bed to put stuff in. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to be like rolling stuff up and placing it away. Okie guys, I'm packed for Disney. <sighs> it's always a stress, isn't it, packing? It really is. Um, right, so that is pretty much everything that I need. I might add a couple more bits as a little wiggle room, and like I say, if I get those vacuum bags, I might be able to shove a couple extra bits in. I don't think there's anything really I need, it's just more in case. <laughs> like I say, it's my first trip, so I don't know everything to expect. Um, I've got other bits I need to put, obviously, in my bag. I've got, like, my power bank charges for various bits and bobs. My straighteners I might put in my um, carry-on. Um, different bits and bobs. And Chris has got bits in his case, so... I got most of my stuff packed. Yay, that's a weight off. There's always um, a stress that it's not all gonna fit. But I think, fingers crossed, I just need my makeup and then like any other bits and bobs. I'm stressing because I know my makeup's gonna probably fill up quite a bit of space. <laughs> Um, drop me a comment and let me know what you would usually take to Disney, especially at this time of year. If you've got any hints and tips, let me know. Unfortunately, it will be too late because as you're watching this, I will be in Hollywood Studios. This should be going up on the Tuesday. Tuesday's our Hollywood Studios day. So when you are watching this, I'm probably in Star Wars land or something. Or eating a grilled cheese at Woody's uh, lunchbox. So, 
excited. Drop me a comment, let me know any tips and stuff. Like I say, it will be too late, but if you've got any travel tips, do share it because I might do an afterthoughts video on what I should have took and different bits and bobs. Or if there's any videos like that you're interested in, let me know because I can jot down some ideas while I'm there. So yeah, I'm thinking maybe, maybe an afterwards, what I would have took had I known type of a video. I don't know. So yeah, drop me a comment. And if you enjoyed the video, guys, then please do me a favour and hit that like button and give me a huge thumbs up. That would be fantastic. And obviously, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel because when I get back, I will be editing all my vlogs. I'm going to do a vlog a day. So we'll have travel day, day one's Animal Kingdom, day two Hollywood Studios, etc, etc. So it will be super fun. Make sure you're subscribed for those. Please do because gonna be a lot of work <laughs> anyway guys thank you so so much for watching i can't wait to share my trip with you guys take care and until i see you when i get back enjoy yourselves see you later guys bye because i'm leaving on a jet plane don't know when i'll be back again oh babe i hate to go